Good morning, everybody. So I thought what I would do is add a little bit more to my my journal. And um, I want to add some gold glimmer. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use tape. Double-sided tape. And I have this. And honestly, I believe... I may be wrong. It it could be Dollar Tree or something like that, but I believe that this is a remnant from Spellbinders. But like I said, I may be wrong. I did have a whole bunch of it. You know, their craft kits used to come with paper and stamps and little die set and die cuts and you used to get adhesive with it, which would be this. Um, so I just want to get some gold on here somewhere. Uh, little pockets. We got little pockets. Big pockets. Um, let me think. Because it's really a quick process, right? I mean, it really is. I'm just going to. Put some, let me do the next page. Just because I'm needing to burnish the tape down to get it to release and that didn't go all the way. Well, it didn't have firm underneath it all the way. Let me put it that way. Okay, and I'm not worried about it being perfect or Anything like that. I just thought let's get some some gold on here and some of the, the foil. And I thought after doing an hour and a half long video <laughs> yesterday that maybe this would be a nice change for everybody to just do something a little bit more chill. <laughs> Not so long. <laughs> that was very long. Everybody said it was fun to watch. And I'm glad that everybody enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I had fun doing it. I think you could tell that I did. Um, obviously, I wouldn't have done that long of a video if I didn't. Okay, so I'm just going to peel this and then I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and put it down the strip and then I'll cut the piece off that the strip is missing from. Basically, I am just laying it down here. And that's where it stops, and that's where I'm going to cut it. And I'm just saying that's all I'm going to use on this. And the rest can go back in this box. This is for our, a hot foil system. But I guess what? It works just like this now. I don't know about the laminating kind. I've never had any of that. You know, I honestly don't know how that works. That might not be burnished well enough. I'm going to get something smooth here and just try to burnish it all a little better. You can see where it's really good down. You can tell now that I'm seeing this. <laughs> you can definitely tell. And you do need to make sure you cover it because if you don't cover it, you're going to have that sticky tape there. Okay, so there's one line. Let's just flip through here. And here we go. Here's some white. I might just go across the bottom a couple of 
lines. Not even straight. Maybe I just have it cross over. And that way maybe it'll look like it was done on purpose. <laughs> I don't know. I'll cut this. If I can get it. There we go. And so that tape where I ripped it wasn't going all the way to the edge or yeah, inside edge. But you never know what will go on top of this, right? Uh oh, I forgot. Oh, I needed to release that one. What is wrong with me? Uh. All right. And that's going to be a little messed up looking because this is now not laying flat. Well, let's see what happens when we put the um, foil over it. And let me burnish. And I'm gonna really want this center burnished really well because I don't want it coming up here. All right, let's see. See, when I get that where it feels like it's skipping like that, that makes me think it's not burnished down and well enough in some spots. And so I'll just come back through and burnish it a little better. Other people would just go ahead and, and go. I'm saying, why is it doing that? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's good. And there's a little bit of sticky right there. I'm going to put this down just to make sure. I don't want my pages sticking together at some point. It looks like it's got something here. See? It didn't pick up a lot, but it did pick up some, so that means the whole thing was not foiled. And that's probably where it was catching. So how about if, let me pick a page here. How about on the purple? How about we do I'm going to cut this uneven piece off. And that needs to go in the trash. Now I got a straight edge again. So how about if I do...
Um, I'm thinking about an exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. I can't see really how straight or anything from this angle. And let me pull this up. Also. And then I just need to do the little dot that goes underneath. So I'm just going to go one, and Think of things with straight lines and go from there. Okay. Let's see how this turns out. I don't know, but we are going to try it. All right, it didn't turn out the way I really wanted it. I wanted it to narrow down. Instead, it just kind of angled down. All right. But this will tell us if it looks like an exclamation point or not. Does it look like an exclamation point? Well, it's a, a crooked exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation mark. <laughs> crooked, but that's okay. It's there. Um, what else can we do? How about, how about just taking little pieces and putting little pieces on. Now watch. Because I want them to be different, they're going to end up they're going to end up being about the same size. Uh, you know, because that's the way it works sometimes. It's okay though. Uh-oh. Look, I ended up with the tape on my finger. So I'm just gonna stick it on. There we go.
come in with some little pieces in between. And this is where that one piece that came off on my finger is. Okay, that's there because it came off like the other one on my fingers. Okay. Let's see, let's burnish it a little bit. Just the tape so I don't, I don't have to fight the tape. It just comes off easier. The backing comes off easier if you have the tape down better. All right. Just some dashes. Okay, see how much easier that came off? Because I made sure it was burnished down good. All right. Let's go here. And burnish. I need that little piece had to be there somewhere. All right. Nah, it's kind of different looking, but I kind of like it. It's mm, rough. <laughs> Nothing neat about it. Look, that's the sticker with the little tape things, but that's okay, too. And I think I want to do just one last. I don't want to do too, too much of any one thing. If that makes it any kind of sense. Um, maybe here. I just want to do, I don't know, a little design. Let's just do a little, just throw some on diagonally. I feel like I'm doodling with foil. <laughs> That's okay. I love doodling. Um, you can get some really cool looks by doodling. And maybe I'll come in and doodle. Um, I don't want that there. I'm going to try to get that off. That was there. Ugh. Just have to fold it back on itself.
Okay, and now I'm going to burnish that like I did the other one. So I'm not here all day trying to get this off. And really, this is the same what you would do for your cards, right? But, of course, you would do it a little neater than this. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to have a hard time anyways. <laughs> And all I'm going to do this time is because the foil is not that big a sheet and it's got lines in it and all of that, I'm really just going to put it on and hope it grabs where it grabs and eventually we'll cover the whole design or whatever you want to call this the whole lines all of the lines there we go and then we won't even have to worry about it anymore okay so i'm just going to come through oops wrong way Always make sure the side you want to see is facing you because that's where I always mess up. I always want to put it the other way for some reason. And yes, I'm still going to burnish. And some of this is going to... catch and some of it's not. But like I said, I'll just come back over and catch it in another spot. Of the foiling. And it's sticking in. I'm not going to worry about that because I know there's a lot of spots that didn't get caught yet, right? So I'm just going to try to fill those spots in now. So, the carrier should not take any of the sticky away. Okay, so 
the set where that stops you. This one has a little piece here. Let's see if we can get that covered. And you can see, you cannot even tell the difference. You can't tell the difference between these lines and the other lines where the foil was solid. It's all foil. There's no difference. It looks exactly the same. Look at that. I think it's about covered. I'm just making sure here that these edges, but there we go. Okay, this probably turned out the best of them all. There's a bit of pieces, but that should come off pretty easy. There's some stripes. There we go. We got some gold stripes. Um, and you can see, like, there's not much left. Do I want to try something else? How about if I just do some little pieces? in like just this corner. Just a little corner accent here. Just those few little pieces, I think. And then if I'm done, if I feel like I want to come in and fill in more of the spot space and put some more in, I can. It just kind of depends on 
what we have here, right? Because this. I'm going to, let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, just that little bit, that didn't, man, I'm not impressed with it, but it's there, so hopefully once I get some stuff going in these things, um, it'll, it'll be good. So, I'm gonna, ooh, I should have done, oh, I should have done that, that would have been cool. All right, well, that's uh, here nor there, it's already done. I am not sure we would be able to find any of it in here. Um, there's one glitter paste. No, I bet you we won't be able to. It'll be too hard to find at this point. There's no. Look how pretty. Oh, the flower. The flowers are pretty. There's no dimension to it, so we're not going to feel it. And I'm sure I would have done one before here. So. That's, oh well, <laughs> there's the last one I did, that's it. I mean, it could be I just that I missed it, I don't know. All right, everybody. So I added a little something else to the... Oh, look. Here's the exclamation point. <laughs> exclamation point or exclamation mark? Question mark, exclamation point. That's what it was. Okay. <laughs> you should know that stuff. All right. If you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you all for joining me, and I hope you join me again. Everybody have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.